Okay, do you want to get faster without adding more miles? Pacing is everything when it comes to running and racing and running efficiency. I'm going to show you a couple of pacing strategies that you can put in place to be able to become a faster runner in just four weeks. And I used these exact pacing strategies to go from running 5K in 25 minutes to five months later running a 5K in 60 minutes 30. And then from that platform, going on to represent my country at both ultra marathon and the marathon. Pacing isn't just about starting slow. It's about managing your energy and learning to use and control your energy efficiently so that you can get an optimal result. Mastering pacing is one of the fastest ways you can get quicker as a runner without risking injury or burnout. Okay, let's talk about the first strategy. Now, I talk to a lot of runners who are trying to get faster at the 5K or the park run. And their typical strategy is they go out every single weekend and try to run as fast as they can. And we've all been there. We know what it feels like. You go out fast, you try to hold that pace, feels uncomfortable in the third and fourth kilometer. You find some energy at the end because you know the finish line is coming, but you've not paced it evenly throughout, which leads to a suboptimal performance. This strategy is going to help you with that. Let's take a sub 20 minute 5k as your goal. So you're aiming for that and it ideally would look like first kilometer, four minutes per kilometer, second, third and fourth kilometer, four minutes per kilometer. And then you finish a little bit faster and dip under 20 minutes. That would be ideal. But let's say you're kind of there or thereabouts, but you're not yet dipping under. Try this. How about next time you run a 5K or a park run, you go out and for the first one and two kilometers, you run at 430 per kilometer. So it feels a lot more comfortable. And then in the third kilometer, you accelerate into that kilometer and you try to do faster than four minutes per kilometer. What that's gonna feel like is that you've been holding off and, and almost running with the handbrake on for the first two kilometers. It will almost feel unnatural because you're in a race situation and you're holding yourself back. And you, you, you're like a, an energy ball ready to go. And in that third kilometer, you accelerate. And let's say you run that in something like 350 because you've got all this energy and there's only three kilometers to go. And then the fourth kilometer, you try to hold that pace. So you try to hold the third, fourth, and fifth kilometer at 350 per kilometer. And that will bring you out at 20 minutes and 30 seconds. But you've ran the last three kilometers at 350 pace. That would indicate to me that you're no longer just trying to dip under 20 minutes, but you should be aiming at something like 19 or 19.10 to go 50 seconds under because you're capable of holding 350 per kilometer. What you're also gonna gain from that is you're able to finish fast. And in a, in a world of 5K running, when it's kind of a war of attrition, even though everybody would just say it's just a short distance, it's nothing like the marathon, it's very, very difficult to judge and get right. And if you can get used to finishing fast, it's gonna make you way stronger and a much more efficient and controlled 5K runner. Second strategy. Now, a great way to train yourself to pace really, really well the 5K is a progressive run. And what I mean by that is, okay, we're capable of running nearly four minutes per kilometer and really nearly holding that to dip under 20 minutes. We're almost capable of that sub 20. So we're working with that pace again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off at 4.30 pace, try to judge that first kilometer really well. And again, it'll feel like you're running with the handbrake on. The second kilometer, we go 10 seconds per kilometer faster. So ideally we're hitting that in 4.20. It's gonna be really difficult for you to hit that absolutely bob on 4.30 and 4.20, but that's what we're aiming at. We're aiming at increasing the pace 10 seconds per kilometer for every kilometer. So it's 4.30 to begin with, 4.20, then 4.10, then four minutes, and then the final kilometer is a kilometer at 3.50, so our fastest kilometer, and we're finishing fast, but we're getting progressively quicker throughout the race. Again, what that's gonna do for us is make us a faster finisher but make us control our energy and become way more efficient. What you're gonna get from those two strategies is it's going to feel very, very, very alien the first time for you once you get to the second kilometer and third kilometer, ideally, because you've still got all this energy left and not much of the race left, exactly where you wanna feel. And again, with that strategy, if you can finish in 350 and probably feel as if you've got way more to give, 
it's indicating that you're capable of way faster than 20 minutes for 5K, it's just that you're not tapping into the right type of pacing strategy. Again, one of the things that I see a lot of people get wrong is try to run as fast as they possibly can week in, week out. It's gonna be really difficult for you to train and accumulate the training stimulus over the weeks and months if you're constantly trying to chase seconds. What's a better strategy is you going at it maybe every third or fourth week, really going for it and using these other part runs or 5Ks as training, so progressive runs like that, or starting slow and finishing fast. Really, really strong technique. So using these pacing strategies over the consecutive weeks and months and over the training schedule is gonna get you building time at the pace that you want to run the 5K in, which is ideally faster than the four minute pace for this example that we're currently using. So you're building pace and volume at 350, 340 per kilometer. What that's gonna do is, first of all, make four minutes per kilometer feel very, very comfortable for you to hold that for five kilometers. It's also going to open that door as to, okay, what's possible? Is 1910, can I run these kilometers in 350 and hold five of them together for the 5K or park run and run 1910? And then what happens is, can I run 50 seconds faster by running just 10 seconds per kilometer faster and doing those kilometers in 340 per kilometer? All of a sudden, you're thinking about three minutes per kilometer and that five of those back to back makes a 15 minutes 5K. And that's the thinking that you should have, that if you can just move forward incrementally and run one second per 100 meters faster, 10 seconds per kilometer faster, it's gonna move you forward way faster than you chasing seconds and just trying to knock two, three, five seconds off your PB for 5K. Becoming good at pacing is a mental game as well. It's gonna improve your mental game within running and it's especially useful when you go up in distance and you can imagine how this applies to 10K half marathon and especially marathon running, where you're running for long periods of time with the handbrake on and what that feels like. But it builds a lot of confidence knowing that you are in complete control of your race and at that moment when you're ready to, you can up and change up in gears and then go for that faster pace and ideally beyond goal pace. And to finish faster than your dream pace really kind of, again, it opens that door to what is possible, which is exactly what we're aiming at. We're aiming at keeping running fun and exciting. So try these pacing strategies and become a more controlled, efficient runner, a more confident runner. Watch your times improve. And if they work for you, let me know in the comments below.